there, it's James with Make It Happen Greenhouse and Carbs Bees. And hey, I wanted to take a minute just to show you the before and after of our clover yard. And what I mean by that is we've actually had some intermittent rain that has prevented me from mowing the yard, so it's really gotten overgrown. So I thought, wow, this would be a great chance to show you what an overgrown clover yard looks like. And then uh, I'll go ahead and mow, and then you can see what it looks like after. So just to give you a more of a sense of what the experience of having a clover yard is like. So, and again, just to refresh you, this isn't 100% clover. What this is is a, is a fescue mix yard that's overseeded with white Dutch clover. So we've done that for several years to kind of get this mix. So that's what you're going to see. Take a peek. You can see how it looks a little, a little unkept uh, as uh, we let it grow a little too long. Uh, but then we'll show you what it looks like after you mow it. So here we go. All right, this too here is gonna give you a pretty good picture of what it looks like. So some tall grass is growing through. You see some butterflies in here. Uh, the bees have pretty much picked through most of these clover heads and have moved on to other things. lot of butterflies in here that's a nice little life in the yard I will keep going here a bit All right, so this area here uh, has gotten a lot of moisture. Again, haven't been able to mow it, but gives you a good sense of how things have gotten a little overgrown. So some very tall grasses spiking up through the, uh, the cover here. You see all the clover mixed in, peeking its head up. And if we look you know, carefully you'll see a lot of like the dead flowers on here. We'll have to mow those down. Had a few other weeds popping through here. These are a weed, but it looks pretty. So there you have it. it, gives you kind of a sense of if you let it go a bit, what it's gonna look like. So back here by the bee yard, this is our quarantine apiary over here. We had this big barren spot out here where we just let it grow like crazy and then I mowed it all down to basically bare dirt. We overseeded that with clover and uh, a bunch of weeds and stuff have grown up. I've been mowing it, but again, haven't mowed it for a couple weeks. So. I'll just show you what that looks like and I'll get a close up. So you can see we're, we're getting some good progress in here. Again, this is the first year doing this. So we still got a lot of this weed that we got to take care of and keep control of. It looks a little rough right now, but I'm guessing, you know, next year the year after this will be completely clover and look a lot nicer hopefully it gets to the point where it looks more like this this is really what we're going for you can see here we even got bees on this And you know, over here in this part of the yard, this is really what we're going for. So again, nice fescue grass, 
nice mix of clover. We're keeping nitrogen in the soil. We're promoting, you know, good biosphere for the, you know, for the environment here. I'll zoom in close, but you're gonna see butterflies and moths and even bees that are working on this clover here. So pretty impressive stuff. That's what we wanna see. So let me zoom in. You can see some of the life that's going on. You might notice in addition to Apis mellifera, the honeybee, we got some native pollinators in here too, some much smaller bees that are working this. Let's see if I can find one and get a close up. There's one. Here's some of the clover I won't be mowing. This is just natural clover that showed up here. It's nice and purple, grows tall, keeps coming back. Thought it was an annual, but it keeps coming back. Yep, it's windy, it's Kansas. All right, let's hop on the mower and get this done. All right, we're finally able to get to it. You know, it's been two weeks, we've had rain, scheduling conflicts, and the yard just got a little out of hand. So I did the before video so you could see what the fescue clover yard looks like once it gets a little overgrown. Well, I got out here and I was able to mow. I think it looks great. So let me take you around and show you what it looks like now that we've run the mower over everything. So let's go. All right, we'll just start over here behind one of our composting boxes and just show you, kind of do the walk through here, what the yard's looking like. So everything's a little more neat, a little more cut, <laughs> looks a little more tidy, but we still have the variety in here. If you get in here close, you'll see we got the, the grass and the clover mixed in here. And even after cutting, you're going to notice you still have a lot of the clover flowers that are lower that are still here and going. So that's good for things like the bees that I like to do. So the bees can still get on this and have you know some food to, to, to get to. So let's uh, just look at some different parts of the yard and see what that's looking like. You can see it in the sun, see it in the shade. Uh, 
uh, sprinklers turned on. But anyway, this was pretty heavy clover in here. You can see again, you got the grass with the clover. A few flowers mixed in here. So still looking pretty good. I'm not bagging my grass, so I do have some clippings in here. Those will have to work their way in. A little bit of a... Here's a part where we have quite the mix of grasses, but again, the clover is a nice complement to all of it. You can see it in here. Yeah, I wanted to make sure you got some shots where it wasn't recently watered and it's not in the shade. So this is pretty sunny out here. So you can see what things are looking like after it's mowed. Sorry about the AC in the background. looking pretty good and I'll just lift it up here and you can kind of compare to the neighbor's yard here you'll see theirs looks pretty pretty barren it's got a lot of dry spots over here you know I haven't fertilized or anything so it's just adding that clover just gives it a you know heap more depth and color I think so again, you can see where the, the line is. I'm over here, this is my yard. There's the neighbor's yard. So I think the clover does a great job and that's a nice little compare and contrast. Let's go back to the apiary with the beehives. Right, you can kind of see here, we used to have a walkway that went through here, and that's pretty grassy, has a little clover mixed in, and then we had these other areas beyond it that were, you know, just overgrown. We cut it down to dirt and then replanted with clover, so there's a lot of weeds mixed in. We just keep cutting over it again and again, letting the clover kind of take over, so here's the progress so far. There's a lot of debris and wood and stuff still decaying and working its way into the soil. But it's starting to come through, which is good. It's nice bunches of clover. And those bees right there are going to love it. Now over here, Now over here we have a little area in front of the raised beds in the greenhouse that we just let grow. Um, and there is some clover that kind of has grown up naturally in here. It's not the white dutch, it's more like a purple clover. And here you go. You see what that looks like. Some more there. And you know we just, again, we, we mow over some of that. It leaves a, st a little bit of a stalk here. It's a little more, you know, hardy than the white dutch I guess you could say. Taller, more spindly. Um, you can see what the flowers look like. But it'll pop right back up again. So I call that like a tall clover. And the bees like that too. And then over here we have some more big patches mixed in. And again post mowing you know it'll 
it does good it'll bounce right back and fill in the area so looking good all right well there you have it James with make it happen greenhouse and carps bees that's the before and after video of <laughs> mowing a fescue clover yard mix. Just one other so thing to enjoy. note after cutting the lawn here, um, you can there's a noticeable difference in the smell of smell. the yard. So it smells a little less harsh, it smells a little more sweet, it doesn't have that, you know, just heavy, dead, rotting grass type of smell. You still have some of that certainly, but it's a lot less with the clover mixed in, and that's just a pleasant thing. So I like that. That was unexpected when I did this.